Um, but uh, this is actually probably the best example of this. Half of this mission doesn't even have guards in it. Instead, it's got monsters. And unfortunately, <laughs> and that was probably one of the biggest mistakes that they made when uh, Looking Glass Studios was making this game um, eons ago, was that they decided that, ah, you know, let's just dump all that really awesome stealth gameplay and all the guards and stuff for fucking zombies. Like that one. That is, an, that is a zombie, too. If, if I jump on him enough, he'll get pissed at me. And he'll be all like, and try to eat my brains, I guess. Um, and then there's, you know, there's just like a, a mess of different monsters in this game. That, you know, no amount of stealthing is really going to help you with. Oh, shut up. Let's go back to sleep. And yeah, they don't like being disturbed much. Fortunately, I don't think this guy's a zombie. Yeah, this is just a straight up corpse. I'm going to huck that. <laughs> Um, this mission, which is mission number two. Oh, God damn it. Mm. So, I should note as well, not only am I doing on, this on expert, but normally whenever, like, big mistakes like that happen, I would just, like, quick load the game. I'm not going to be doing any of that. Um, you know, I'll, I'll save and load yeah. under instances where I would die. But not for, like, getting caught in any of that cheap shit, because, you know, I mean, it's it's more fun this way, <laughs> I suppose. See, I could actually die falling down this gap here, so I'm just going to go ahead and see if the... Yay, I ween! Yes! I'm extremely manly. Um, so, uh, I was going to explain... I guess a bit of what this mission's all about. So, like, I just stole that scepter, right? Well, hey, zombie, follow me. Hey, look, there's another one. It's gonna hurt. Eh. Um, I stole that scepter, and I was gonna pawn it off to like my fence. This guy called Cuddy. And like, uh, there's a group of, I guess, technocratic. <laughs> this is what they'd be described as, technocratic monotheistic um inquisitorial religious types that's <laughs> that's how I'll describe them they're a very aggressive group of um extremely religious people you can see their symbols the hammer I got a little hammer down at the bottom right corner which is you know they're, they're called the hammerites that's I mean that's their name the hammer is their shtick oh hello dead guy um, and they went and, like, because, you know, my fence is a bad guy, you know, I mean, he's a thief's pawn. I'm going to blow the zombie up, and kaboom! <laughs> can never get enough of that. More games need to have zombies explode like that. That's just glorious. Um, but they, uh, they nicked my thief's pawn, my, my fence, and, uh, they chucked him in prison. And strangely enough, for a prison that they, you know, these hammerites own, the, it sits on top of a factory, which itself, here, I think if I show the map, yeah, the prison, sits on top of a factory, which sits on top of a set of abandoned mines, which happen to be filled with zombies. I don't know about you, but I think uh, if that, that was the conditions within which my prison was set up. I think I would just uh, move the prison. And there they are. A group of hammerites. Oh, where are you walking, buddy? Okay. You see that gnarly ass hammer that they got carrying around? These guys do ridiculous amounts of damage if they catch you. See, yeah. knocked you out. Wait a minute. There's some gold hanging out down here under the water, so I'm gonna go get that. But yeah, no. So I gotta go break Cuddy out, which you know, I mean, as as far as like 
a reason to go break into an extremely dangerous place goes. I suppose that that's reasonable. Garrett's only interested in his money. So that's what he's here for. Go break Cuddy out so he can get paid. Um, but of course, nothing is ever that simple. So, not only do I have to go break out Cuddy, but because I'm playing it on Expert, I have to go... Oh, there isn't any gold down here. That's right. I forgot about that. Shit. Well, back we go. Um, I have to go, like, get this hand from a guy that I loaned it to. It's, you know, like a hand of glory or some shit. And he died in prison. And then another character, Basso the Boxman. Um, I gotta go bust his ass out of prison. And take him with me. Because, like, I think... I think under the objective screen at the very beginning, it, it implies because Basso's sister would be very um, appreciative, we'll say. Should I break ba uh, Basso out? <laughs> uh, well, I guess if you have a, if you need a reason to go. Oh damn it! Oh, well, never mind. I mean, I I meant to do that. That was entirely intentional. That was really lucky. He should not have um, been knocked out there. <laughs> My god. Okay, so now we're in the factory where they make hammers. You can actually watch this guy doing what he's doing. He's gonna sit here and he's gonna pull a lever. And he's gonna pull another lever and then he's gonna grab whatever's in there. See, he doesn't, he's not carrying a hammer around, I don't think. Yeah, doesn't. Oh. I wonder what that guy was doing here. You might have seen uh, the unconscious guy. Probably. Yeah, see, they make hammers here. Big old dirty great hammers with which to crush my skull. So, you know, not overly friendly. That's okay. Nee. I just skip all of that because I have no interest in it. Pawn oh, Cutty. Yeah, they're talking about my fence now. I actually really like this level. Well, the Hammerites are super cool, I, I've always thought. You know, I mean, as far as like a characterization of a, an enemy goes, I've always thought it was really cool. They're, they're definitely very flavorful. Give me that key. Do, do, do. I'm just gonna sneak on down and whack off across the bots. Now they said black, uh, block four, which is this way, but all four blocks actually are connected to each other. And I'll just take a quick see look. Down this way, there's a little eyeball, which I. Hold on. I know this is really dick ridiculous. This game is not new. <laughs> so you can kind of break it a little bit, which I've been doing for quite a while here because I guess because I know how to I I remember like I think you can kill these things. Yeah. Because this is little thing, this little eyeball is like um it's like a periscope that'll set off an alarm if it sees you normally yeah cuz uh, if that didn't work I was gonna have to like run around and go the other way cuz like I said all four blocks are connected to each other um, this is another side note I'm actually again skipping a whole bunch of stuff this Felix's notes and the dead guy with the key and everything um, Cuddy's actually going to die in prison here. I'm going to walk into his prison cell and he's going to be all, you know, dying of lung rot or something. Um, and so he's going to tell me, Ah, oh, well, they, there's a, you know, I can pay you back by going after the Horn of Quintus, which is down in this really nasty place called the Bone Horde. So why don't you go down there? There he is. Cuddy. 
and go get my notes that Felix left me, which is another guy, and... No, there'd be nobody here. Don't worry about it. Um, and you, you know, like, if you don't know otherwise, you go all the way up to where the strong box, where all the evidence and stuff for that's at, and then you find out that it's all stolen, and then you have to go search for the, the guy who took it, and I don't like doing it in that order because, well... I don't have to, I guess. I'm waiting for that guard to... Yeah, there we go. No, no. Eh. Don't notice me. Yes, it was rats. It was absolutely rats. Pay me no mind. Quickly, quickly. There we go. Alright. Wrong key. Well, they would, buddy. They would.